Hello everyone, my name is Murdoch. Today we're going to be doing another Plate Up automation video. In today's video, we're going to be doing all the types of soup that exist within Plate Up. We will be starting with the simplest soups like meat and carrot soup, moving into the more difficult soups like pumpkin soup and broccoli cheese soup. So for all these soups, they will fit in a 3x6 grid except for the pumpkin soup, which will require an extra two spaces for garbage. So without further ado, let's start building the very first machine for meat soup. And there we go, there's our setup for meat soup. Now meat soup and carrot soup will be three tiles shorter than all the other soups due to them only requiring one ingredient and no other processing steps. So without further ado, let's see the meat soup cook. And there we have it, our meat soup. Let's move on to the next soup, carrot soup. So for carrot soup, it is a very simple change. All you need to do is exchange the meat for the carrot and you're done. So I'm not gonna demonstrate this one due to the fact that it is the exact same process as the meat soup, but this is how you do carrot soup with this setup. Now let's move on to the next soup, tomato soup. One of the big things for tomato soup is it requires two things of tomato. One needs to be chopped into a tomato paste, and the other one is just a raw tomato. So let's show you how we do that. And there we go, we have our tomato soup automation set up. Let's see how this one runs. And there we go, we have our tomato soup. Now it may look like pumpkin is next on the list, but we're actually gonna move on to broccoli cheese soup before we do the pumpkin soup. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. So there we have our broccoli cheese soup. Now for this one, we do need to switch the onions and the broccoli because if you put the broccoli on that other side, the way this is set up, it'll actually make broccoli side instead of broccoli cheese soup. So let's see how this one works. And there we have our broccoli cheese soup. Let's move on to the final soup pumpkin soup. So for pumpkin soup, we can move the onions back over here and we only need one of these combiners, but we will need to actually chop the pumpkins and we will need to throw the pumpkin garbage, which will require a bin. So here we have our portioner and we have our compactor bin. Now, let's see how this setup works for pumpkin soup. Now, keep in mind, you could replace this frozen prep right here with a teleporter instead, and then have this set up somewhere else in the back corner of your restaurant, and then just have the pumpkin soup teleport to you. And here we have our pumpkin soup. So here we are, we have automated every soup and plate up, the meat soup, the carrot soup, the broccoli cheese soup, the tomato soup, and the pumpkin soup, all in one very simple small machine. And if you like these kinds of automation videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Have a good one.